standpoint, Pete Carroll is trying to rebuild trust with our organization, with our fans, with the 12th man that will never be called the Baker's Dozen because he's not going to come here because Pete Carroll is not stupid enough to bring him in after hyping and singing the praises of Drew Locke all offseason. And if he is, it's going to be a very, very fun show the next week. Oh, I can't so wait. I, please don't bring Oh, man. If we pay more than $5 million for a contract for Baker Mayfield, I don't even know. Do you want to make – there's no bet. I don't – I'll just be in pain. Y'all tune in, and I can just sit here and cry for 30 minutes if that makes you feel better. I, well, well, it's going to happen. So, for the Seattle Seahawks, please welcome your new face of the franchise, which the OU Sooners that they call the Heisman Trophy winner, Baker Mayfield. And I approve this message if Seattle gets them because that does damage your draft stock for Bryce Young. But, hey, you might have a chance to have more than, like, seven to nine games win. Maybe. Maybe. Mayfield is not bad, like everybody thinks. Like, I think you Seattle fans are just overreacting. Like, have you seen Baker Mayfield's record in Cleveland? They won the first playoff game in how long? So many years. His record. Baker Mayfield can carry a franchise with a good running game. Seattle has a running game, right? Don't they have a running back? Don't they have some solid receivers? You can't get any worse with Baker. Drew Luck, are you serious? The only thing that Drew Luck's ever had in his entire career was scoring with the Chiefs' owner daughter. That's all he had in his entire career. He was nothing irrelevant. He couldn't even do nothing in Denver. So you're going with a guy who was a has-been with the Jets. Now he's all of a sudden your guy, you know, he's coming as a starter. No, I want to sell market, man. If I'm going to try to convince people to come to Seattle, I got to get Baker Mayfield to come here. Well, okay, let me tell you why you're wrong, (laughs) CG. Very wrong on so many levels. First of all, we are taking notes as to what you did wrong, right? When we get to next year's draft, if we have Baker Mayfield, if we have Drew Locke, if we have Pale at quarterback. Either way, we're going to be moving on at quarterback. So if we bring in Baker Mayfield, say he gets us two, three more regular season wins this year, we still probably miss the playoffs. If we make it, we're one and done, and we're not competing in our playoff game, right? So we still have a very bad team with a lot of holes. Then next year, our draft pick say it's around 10 at that point, or if, if it's in the teens, that would be even worse. Now we have to give up more of the capital that we got back in our trade for Russell Wilson just to go get the quarterback that we could have gotten had we started Drew Locke. Right? So that the reason we're learning from your mistakes is because that's what the 49ers did. Gave up multiple first round picks, multiple draft picks. Wasn't it two first and a third? He gave up to go get the third pick in the draft at quarterback. How has that worked out for you? Are we sure Trey Lance is going to be a great player? We haven't seen it on the field yet. There's a lot of pressure on him. Pressure is privilege, right, Pale? So we're about to find out how much that. Oh, oh, oh okay. Well, we have an domestic. We are trying to hold on to our assets to still built the rest of our roster, which we very much still need to Is do. Bryce Young going to be the real deal, man? Because I think Mayfield can be the guy, man. Like, come on, Seattle, they got the talent, man, but you don't know. You're investing a no, no sure thing in the draft. It's a crapshoot. With so Baker Mayfield, know, you already know you got something with the kid. We know he's he got, got a winning record history. in Cleveland, right? We know you got, got a running well, game. You got, got a good receiver. Like, I mean, you know their like, offensive line's looking pull better. That? I say it's pretty good fit, man. Come on, Pete Carroll's gotta like that Mayfield, man. Come on, Mayfield's like that new Russell with the with the little mentality, but he's not scrambler, but he's a he's a good percentage passer. Like, dude, this guy is the most winningest quarterback in college football. He did good for Cleveland Browns. Like, can you can you say any other quarterback has won a playoff game in Cleveland? What was the last time that? Anybody in Cleveland won a playoff game. It's, it hasn't happened how, since 1995. How many coaches has he had? Since Bill career. Belichick. Already four. Already four. Is it F- each one of those head coaches' fault that they've gotten fired? Or is it possibly the common denominator, which is the quarterback, who, by the way, is in a contract season, which means just next year we would have to pay him. Whereas if we draft a quarterback who hasn't failed in the NFL, who hasn't suffered multiple NFL injuries, especially in the same position, who's definitely faster, who has a much higher ceiling, and isn't going to be overdrafted at the top of the draft like Baker Mayfield was, 
Then we have four to five years to figure out five, most likely five. We're gonna who wants to watch the Seattle game with those quarterbacks, man? I wouldn't want to watch a Drew Luck play a quarterback. I wouldn't want to watch a Geno. I would come to watch Baker Mayfield. <laughs> We're that would sell tickets. Next year. That for this season alone, and why are we trying? 